All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about France wine regions. And I have to confess, this is very hard for me because I don't speak French. And we are going to have to um, talk about those very specific French wines and French regions with the French names. So it's going to be a little bit funny, but stick with me. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. Now, France is, uh, is the most famous wine country in the world, produces some of the most amazing wines, the most expensive wines. We're going to talk about that in a little bit later, but uh, basically that's what it is. There are a lot of wine regions, there are a lot of different grapes and wines, mm, thousands of producers, but we're going to mention only the most important, the wines and the regions and the producers that you might find bottles from in your restaurant. So, Bordeaux is probably the wine region that is most wine in France. It's on the Atlantic Ocean. Burgundy is like the most important region that produces the most expensive wines. Champagne, everybody knows that's the wine that everybody drinks for Christmas and New Year. The Champagne bottles, Loire Valley is another important region, Rhone Valley is another important region, those are rivers here in France uh, and their valleys are, are very important wine regions. Provence, yes, on the south um, and Alsace on the German border. Now, we're going to start with Bordeaux because, like I said, this is the wine region that produces most wines and, of course, some of the most fancy, expensive wines in the world are produced in Bordeaux. Um, basically, in Bordeaux, they are producing red wines. It's famous with the red wines. There are some uh, white wine production and some sweet wines, but Bordeaux is famous with the red wines they are producing and 86% of the production is actually red wines. Now those southern sweet wines they are also very famous uh, but of course this is a very small percentage of the wine production in Bordeaux. When we're talking about red wine in Bordeaux we're talking about Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. Those are the three types of grapes that are produced and grow in Bordeaux. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, most wine have uh, this kind of percentage in, their, in the bottles. Uh, different regions in Bordeaux, you know, the different sub-regions in Bordeaux, uh, they have different um, blend, but the Bordeaux blend, the famous Bordeaux blend is actually 70% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and about 50% Merlot and Cabernet Franc with a little bit of Petit Verdot. All right, this is the famous Bordeaux blend, but it depends on which sub-region in Bordeaux we're talking, uh, the combination differs. All right, so here's Medoc. Medoc is famous with the red wines they produce and of course uh, Medoc is... Uh, home of the most important, most expensive um, wine chateaus in France, like um, Chateau Margaux, uh, Chateau Latour, and so on. So we're going to talk about that. But Medoc, if you're talking about Medoc wines, that means that they are most probably having the Bordeaux combination. All right. So mostly Cabernet Sauvignon with um, equal parts of uh, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Franc uh, Merlot and just a little bit of Petit Verdot. All right. Now, if you go down to Le Bourgneuil, now, like I said, you know, my French, pardon my French, uh, saint Emilion and Pomerol, those are two famous wine regions where the main grape is Merlot. Especially in Pomerol, where the famous Chateau Petrus is located, you know, the Chateau Petrus, the most, one of the most famous, most expensive wines in the world, uh, is uh, 
more than 96% Merlot. All right. And then, of course, then you have the graph and that's, um, um, yeah, you can have it uh, either way. You can have uh, mostly Merlot wines, but you can also have uh, mostly Cabernet Sauvignon wines. So those are the regions, the sub-regions, and then, of course, they're divided into small appellations, uh, appellations, you know, that's that's what I call it. Saint-Estef, Pula, Saint-Julien, Margot. Um, and the funny thing about the French, and especially in Bordeaux, is that every sub-region have their own categorization, all right? So it's very hard to actually categorize the chateaus and the wines and so on and so. But the thing that you need to know about the Bordeaux is that the top wines are, are called the, the premier. So the top wines are categorized as a premier grand cru classe A. All right. So then you have Premier Grand Cru Classe, all right? Then you have just Grand Cru Classe, and then second Grand Cru Classe, and whatever. Um, very strange uh, uh, because every sub-region have their own uh, classification, all right? And um, so we're gonna just mention some of the chateaus that you have to know and if you're working in a fine dining restaurant, uh, expensive uh, restaurant that uh, people like to drink very expensive wines, you're gonna find bottles from those chateaus that cost thousands of dollars sometimes, all right? And sometimes more than that. So Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, uh, Chateau Margot. Now, five of the, uh, four of the top chateaus in Bordeaux are located in Medoc. Only Chateau La Tour is is not in Medoc, uh, but everybody, every all the all the top resort, all the top chateaus are, are located in Medoc. Uh, Chateau Chateaubriand, actually, I'm sorry, Chateau La Tour is also uh, in Medoc. Chateau Chateaubriand is is the only uh, chateau that's not located in uh, Medoc. Uh, in Chateau Motun Rothschild. Now those are the premier Grand Cru Classe A chateaus. All right. The most expensive, the most uh, famous chateaus. But those here, they are not included in the this classification because they are not from Medoc and not, uh, not included in this classification. But those are also um, naturally accepted as a, just equal to those uh, five Grand Cru, Premier Grand Cru Chateaus. Uh, Chateau Petrus, Chateau Le Pit, you know, they are producing some of, like I said, Pet, uh, Petrus wine, you know, one of the most expensive, most, most famous wines in the world. Uh, and then, of course, uh, all those other Chateaus are very, very um, famous. They are producing top quality wines. Um, so those are the top producers in Bordeaux. Now we're gonna go to Burgundy and Burgundy you know they want to be mentioned as the top region in France because um, they are probably the oldest region in France not probably they are the oldest region in France that produces wine in of course the most expensive wine chateaus are right there and uh, we're gonna discuss some of them now, when we're talking about Burgundy, of course, we are talking about Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. All right. Now, up north, we have the Chablis region. You know, it's a sub-region in Burgundy. And Chablis, that means Chardonnay. They have very small batch of uh, red wine, but nobody knows about the red Chablis. Everybody knows about the white Chablis. And white Chablis is 100% Chardonnay. South from Chablis, Everything else is pretty much Pinot Noir. Of course, they have other grapes, but Pinot Noir is the top grape. And uh, the top wines that are produced in Burgundy, those are Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Um, 
Now, the subregions, you know, like there are, many, there are some regions, but I mean, the, the most important, like I said, we are Chablis, where the Chablis white wine is 100% Chardonnay, and then Cote d'Or. Cote d'Or has two subregions, Cote de Nuit and Cote du Bon, and the top winemakers are actually all the grand crews are uh, for the red wines are here Cote de Nuit and all the grand crews for the white wines in Burgundy are here in Chablis not all there is one there one there but uh, nah, 99% all right so uh, and then of course you have uh, Cote Chardonnay, Maconnet, Beaujolais now uh, Cote Chardonnay they, they produce uh, different uh, white and red Maconnet is famous with the white wines and Beaujolais of course is famous with the uh, young sweet red wines they are producing down there south um, <coughs> here are some of the famous chateaus in both Chablis and Cote de Nuit now one of the most famous so in, in uh, Burgundy the classification is different than the classification in uh, Bordeaux so here the best the highest quality is the Grand Cru okay so the the top Grand Cru resorts uh, in Burgundy producing red wine and those are the most expensive and the most famous of course wines in the world Domain de la Romanie Conti yeah how do you like my French uh, Richebou la Romanie Romani Saint Vivan, La Grande Rue. All right. I want you to know also that in this region, in this sub region, uh, Gevray Chambertin, every time you see a bottle of wine with the name Chambertin and something else to it, there are seven Grand Crus there and they all wear the name of Chambertin. So if you have Chambertin, blah, 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 that means. It's a grand crew from this region, Gevray Chambertin. Um, then you have another um, very famous estate, Grand Echezu and Echezu. Um, those are also grand crew estates. And then, of course, Clos Vougeot. All right. They, this is the only one in uh, region Clos Vougeot, Clos de Vougeot. Uh, that uh, that is a uh, grand cru but um, a lot of wines this is a big big uh, wine estate wine chateau they produce a lot of wines they um, you most probably will see uh, in any um, fine dining restaurant a bottle from uh, close to show and then the Chablis Grand Cruz are uh, just here I'm not even gonna try to say those names um, but uh, those are also expensive wine not as expensive like this one those are the most expensive wine in the world and we're going to see some prices and everything like that in the in the next uh, pages but uh, yeah those are the grand crews from chablis they are producing chard uh, chardonnay all right and the thing that you need to know but we discussed the chablis in in uh, in a separate lesson but this is what uh, what they are producing they are producing 100 percent chardonnay and i can say most of the wine but i can easily say all the chablis they are not aged they are very fresh very very fine easy drinking pleasant wines uh and those are the you know that's that's what they are famous with now some producers my age chablis uh, just for a few days maybe in uh, oaks or something like that but mostly if somebody orders Chablis in your restaurant he expect to drink really fresh really pleasant no wood no beric whatsoever wine uh, and that's what the Chablis are famous with now here south you have some more uh, sub-regions like uh, Montrachet Carton Charlemagne and Merceau and they you're gonna have bottles of wine from Montrachet and Charlemagne uh, and Merceau 
and um, just pay attention. Those are those are uh, famous French regions with uh, excellent wine. Now you have to make a note. Very often, very often in Burgundy, you can have a wine that costs hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars from those regi from those uh, wine uh, chateaus, and test like garbage, all right? Because producing a, a Pinot Noir is, is not an easy task, all right? It's a very specific wine, very difficult wine to produce. Um, but of course, uh, those wine estates have made names for themselves and they are selling really uh, wines that uh, cost a lot of money. Because you have to understand, those are very, very rare wines. All right, they are very, very rare. Now, Grand Cru Estates in Burgundy produce only 2% of the whole wine production in the region. All right, Premier Cru is 12%. And then everything else is a village type of wine and regional wines. So that's why those producers, even if the wine is not <laughs> nothing special to brag about, they are selling those bottles for a lot of money. All right. So when you have Burgundy wine, it's going to be in this type of bottle, all right? This is a Burgundy type of bottle, and this is the Burgundy glass. Really fat glass with a lot of space inside. And it's a good thing to know. I discussed that in other lessons, but you have somebody coming and ordering a Burgundy wine, all right? Make sure you serve them in a Burgundy glass. That uh, will impress them in... Uh, you know now some of the prices just to know what are we talking about now 2015 is just seven years away all right but domain leroy the grand crew from the domain leroy is selling for hundred forty eight thousand dollars all right in 2022 this bottle of wine was produced seven years ago but because it was rated so high and it was because it's such a rare bottle, now it's selling for $48,000. Two years ago, in 2020, it was selling for $75,000. So this is in the last, the last two years, this is a 100%, almost 100%, more than 100% increase, almost 100% increase, yeah, in the price of this bottle. Now, one of the most famous Burgundy wine, Latash, Latash, or whatever you call it, uh, the Grand Cru from uh, Domaine de la Mer Romani Conti, you know, just a normal price, $8,000, all right? So you can go to a restaurant right now and order this Latash Romani Conti, and it's going to cost about, about $8,000 in the restaurant, all right? And people drink this kind of wine. Now, this wine is probably a collection item, and nobody will open it and drink it for dinner, all right? They are buying it because they know there are so few bottles left in the world. And uh, in the next 10 years, this bottle probably will cost about $500,000. So that's why they're collecting. But those bottles, they are drinking those bottles. Uh, 2010, you know, Domaine Armand Rousseau, $6,800. Those are all Grand Cru, right? You see, Grand Cru, Grand Cru, Grand Cru, Grand Cru Monopole. Um, and now you see the difference between the Grand Cru and the Premier Cru. Now, 2016, Domaine Jacques Frederic, that's a Premier Cru, $191. And of course, you have even less than that. 2019, Domaine Feveli Mercury, Cote Chalonnais, $35. This is the difference between having a uh, Grand Cru Chateau and Premier Cru Chateau. And that's why the big fight about classification in France is just constantly ongoing. Um, people want to be classified as a Grand Cru. They don't want to be classified as a Premier Cru and so on. So, but it's not easy to change that. Now, another France region and really quickly we're gonna just mention something about Champagne because of course it's the most famous probably the most famous 
um, wine in the world. Um, champagne is uh, not in France. Of course, the champagne means that it's produced primarily from Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and Chardonnay. Now, it's allowed to put small percentage of Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris and some other wines in it, but that's mostly just uh, uh, on paper. Everybody makes the Chardonnay from Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and Chardonnay. Um, of course, you have uh, Blanc de Blanc Chardonnays, which means that they are made ex exclusively from Chardonnay, from only from white wines, uh, but mostly it's this combination of those three wines. And um, <clears throat> now, the funny thing about the Chardonnay region is that at the beginning when they start producing wine, they were competing with Burgundy um, for the, you know, the best wine produced in France. Uh, but the thing is that the climate and then, you know, the soil in Burgundy was uh, better situated to produce better, more um, bloody red, full body uh, wines. So Chardonnay was losing the, the battle with Burgundy. And at some point, they just decided that they will concentrate s exclusively on bubble wine. And that was a winning a winning choice and made them the most expensive and the most famous wine region in the world. Um, for example, the first Champagne winery was uh, founded in 1584. You know, for the beginning they, was they were producing also steel wines, not the Champagne, but um, then turned into a Champagne. They're still existing, they're still selling Champagne. Uh, then, then Ruinard was founded uh, and then, of course, the Danger, Moet Chandon, View of Clicquot, those are the old Champagne uh, chateaus. But we have to also mention some of the most famous nowadays, like Crook, Dom Perignon, uh, Laurent Perrier, and uh, Louis Roller, of course. Uh, there are many chateaus in uh, Champagne that are producing, of course, Champagne. And you have to know that in 2008, I was made a big push to extend the area with another 40 villages around the region that were now allowed to produce wine, sparkling wine called labeled champagne, all right? Because the prices and uh, the demand for champagne was so, so big and they were just producing more and more, but then of course, you get to the point where there's, there's no more land. Every square centimeter in Champagne is producing wine right now because this is the most profitable operation you can run in, uh, in this region. But there was no more land and um, the demand was so big, they decided to extend the region and now they are allowed another 44 little villages around the Champagne region to produce sparkling wine and label it Champagne. Um, and I think the last production was like a last, the biggest production was 338 million bottles of champagne. And that was in, uh, just before the COVID uh, uh, hit the, the world. It was like 2019 or something like that. 338 million bottles of champagne producing this small region in France. You can imagine what kind of business is that. And those champagnes, they cost money. Here at the Waiters Academy, we have created the number one online waiter training course that will take you to the top 10% of waiters in the world. Polish your skills and gain new knowledge by joining the basic wine course for waiters and finish off your education by signing up for the bursary training course, the beverage and beverage service course and the coffee and tea course. By completing all five courses, you will receive an FMP diploma from the Waiters Academy that will put your career on the fast track to success. Hey, are you a waiter or waitress or you want to become one? Either way, I want you to know 
that our job and industry are full with hard-working people who barely make a living. Working as a waiter could be a nightmare until you become one of the top waiters in the world and get to the top jobs. Then you start living a kind of a fairy tale. Do you want to know how to make this happen? Click on a link and I will take you on a tour that will change your life in a matter of seconds. Easy about French wines if you have a chance.